Well, Ben, the scorecard looked fairly decent at lunchtime, 96 for two, but uh, out for 230, not the best of days for Durham, really. No, it wasn't our best day. They, did, they bought some nice stuff, but yeah, I think we've left a few runs out there, to be fair. Not yeah. Our best day. The crucial wicket of Sean Dixon just before the break, he was doing nicely, third half century in a row for him, and then LBW with a ball to go before lunch, and that was when things sort of went wrong. Yeah, it did. I think you know, we dominated that first session. I think it was a green top at the Riverside. I think teams come here thinking it's going to do all sorts, and the pitches last two weeks have been pretty, a bit more batter friendly. So I think we scored quite fairly in the first session, then they obviously realised that, changed their areas a bit, and from there they bowled really well, to be fair. Bits of aggression from Pattinson, and you know, I was, it was a tough day with the bat, to be fair. What's the situation with Liam Travaskis? Because he's retired hurt, he's not going to play in this game anymore. He got hit twice on the head. I mean, the first one looked nasty. The second one looped all the way back to the bowler. Uh, to be fair, he's talking more rubbish than he normally does up there, so I think he is a bit dizzy. So he took two good hits there. It's, it's an interesting pitch. It's a, it's a bit too paced, so he, tried, he, you know, he ducked a couple and they didn't get up and he, he wore them, unfortunately. But you know, as I said, his, his tough luck led to George Drizzle getting his, his debut for Durham, which is, you know, everyone was happy to see that. Um, and luckily we have concussion subs for those ty types of things these days so just got to crack on with that one and wish Liam all the best he seems like he's alright to be fair he's um, he's walking around up there and everything seems okay so I think better be safe for those kind of things though. yeah you, you got uh, into the 30s but you were running out of partners by that point yeah, yeah I was saying that everyone can bat really but uh, you know, my eyes lit up with the left arm spin into a small boundary so I tried to take that on but you know, we bat all the way down decent batters but again they just were relentless with the ball they didn't really give us I think we were all looking to score down the bottom end, but they just didn't really give us that many opportunities to do so. So the, the board stood quite still, really. It's a Sunderland lad who's done the damage with the ball, Liam Patterson-White, with uh, 5 for 54, his second best figures. I think he moved to Nottingham when he was about two, so it's not really that he's uh, been missed on Durham's radar, but he's come here and had a really good day and, and bowled some really nice stuff, didn't he? Kept the pressure on all the way through the afternoon. 27 straight overs, I think he bowled. I bowled beautifully, did a, did a cracking job from, from this end. I think there was a bit of wind around early on, so he did the stint into the wind where their seamers would stay fresh and operate at the far end, so, you know, fair play to him, he bowled really well. Um, Hopefully we can play him a bit better second dig, to be fair. One or two inside edges from not batsmen towards the end there of the day's play, but the luck just wasn't going for Durham, and they'll be pleased 50 without loss at the end of the 15 overs. Yeah, well, I think they played two real quality openers. Uh, played quite well, but you know we did create a few chances, but it is a, it's a slow pitch, the heavy roller. Took a bit of a toll on the pace there, so you know, we just got to see what we can create tomorrow and have a think about how we want to go about it, to be fair. Well, tomorrow's another day, isn't it? You come back fresh and have another dart at them. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it's safe to say they've won day one, but there's three more days of cricket here, and you know, not to a team we like to compete against. I'm looking forward to the next three days.